T22 Medium. This thing right here you're seeing on the screen right now has been kicking about for like 3 years in Blitz. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you if the tank is still meta or not. So, we're on Fort, Display, uh, Fort Despair, and we're going to be watching myself play the T22 Medium. Um, yeah, so it's, we're not going to have one of the best of games, only do 3k damage, we're not going to have much block damage as well, but you can block the damage. And the arm pro from the T22 Medium can be... You can't always rely on it. If you drive the tank, you will know that you can't always rely on the armor profile because you um, you might get a pen now and then. But you still can get those bounces. You I mean you're going to see this game? I'm probably going to have a couple bounces now. That Sheridan will pen me. Uh, um, he's going to pen me right now. There we go. He's going to pen me there. Um, but it's not to worry because honestly. It's not an easy tank to penetrate the T22 T22 medium, and it's better than any other medium tank when it comes to the armor because you have to aim to penetrate this tank um, when it's in the open. Unlike a, a T62A or an OBJ140 when it's in the open, you don't have to aim at all if you're in a, like a high pen tank destroyer or something like that. With the T22 medium, you have to aim because the armor is that troll. The the tank design, as I as I said, it's a triangle, so it's really weird. I tried to get HG there. Unfortunately, I couldn't penetrate, but never mind. The guy's dead anyways. Um, Sheridan gets another penetration right through me. And he, if you can see here, he got another penetration from that angle onto my upper plate. But if I were facing him, he would have bounced me. So I think I could have tried to angle my armor a little bit so I could have got a bounce there. Um, but yeah, fortunately I couldn't do it. Now there, there you can, there you can see the accuracy. It's not the best. It, it's really not one of the best of accuracies. But you can um, get some good shots. But just I wouldn't really rely on that gun. But it still can be a laser. Honestly, it still can be a very good gun. Just like the armor profile. It, you can't always rely on the armor. Now in this position, in this position, hold on if I can get it uh, right here when we're aiming out. In this position. <laughs> Sorry. In this position, I'm only showing my turret. Uh, yeah, fair enough. You can see a little bit of my upper plate. But if I angle that a little bit, um, wiggle back and forwards, uh, not wiggles, but uh, side to side, he will bounce. And if I only show my turret in this position, for example, here, there is no way to penetrate this tank at all. You have no cupola. So if you see this tank showing it only its turret, yeah, you may as well leave that area because you're not going to do anything against it. And what's so good about the T22 medium as well is the side armor. Um, the side armor is absolutely wonderful in this tank. It's absolutely fantastic. You can do so many bounces in the side armor. I can't tell you how many shells I've bounced on the side against TDs, Death Stars. I've bounced them. Um, T110E3s. I've bounced them. OBJ 263s. I've bounced them all in a side uh, side scraping position. We're going to push on this AMX here just to help our teammate out. Couldn't, really couldn't penetrate the HE. As I said, the HE is not the best in this uh, tank. It's only sitting at 53 millimeters of penetration, which is not enough. But we're going to sneak another shot onto that uh, AMX 50B. Now he's a one shot. And there goes the AMX 50B. Uh, VK now, we're going to see if we can get a shot. Unfortunately, we couldn't really connect it right there. Um, we're going to push a little. Now we've got, um, now there it's, there it's only got two tanks left. We're going to push now. We're going to be really aggressive. So we're going to go for this OBJ, clear him out. So if it's going to be a, a six on one, uh, no, not six on one, sorry. A four on one. Uh, I can't even count it, no. Five on one. There we go. Uh, so he gets a lovely shot onto me. I'm, I I actually don't know how that didn't bounce. From this angle, I think it was at that sort of angle. Um, but yeah, he still managed to penetrate me. So he's a lucky player right there. So I didn't get any bounces that game, but it wasn't the best of games, but I still managed to get pump out that damage. In certain tanks, um, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Now, I, catch, I actually could have done better in an STB, don't get me wrong. I think that tank's absolutely wonderful. But in other tanks, I actually think they couldn't do as good as a T22 medium in some scenarios. But yeah, it's only been one replay, guys. So yeah, it's going to be enough for today about the T22 medium. If I were to sum it up for you, this tank is still overpowered. It still kicks in. 
Yes, Power Crypt, it will kick in soon with this tank. I guarantee you their medium tanks will be better, hope, uh, maybe soon than this thing. But for now, this tank is still one of the most overpowered tanks in tier 10. And it still deserves the crown of the crown of the king of tier 10, if I could say that. But yeah, it's still very strong. It's still very overpowered. And despite the fact that it's only like, what, like three years old? Yeah, Power Crep really can't really uh, get to this thing. But yeah, so the tanks are powered. And this is going to be enough for today, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. If that's the case, feel free to uh, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll be seeing you for uh, see you for the next one. Bye bye.